Welcome to installing Telerik UI for Blazor. I am Ed Charbonneau, Senior Developer Advocate for Progress and Microsoft MVP. Over the next few minutes, we'll be learning how to install Telerik UI for Blazor. Through this process, we'll get an understanding of how to get started with a free trial of Telerik UI for Blazor, install the product, and see how Telerik UI integrates with Visual Studio. First, I'd like to show you how to get a free trial of Telerik UI for Blazor. Now, if you already have a DevCraft bundle, then good news, you already have a license for Telerik UI for Blazor, and you can install it directly from the Telerik control panel or your account portal. To start a new free trial, simply visit us at Telerik.com and click the Try Now button from either the Blazor product page or the DevCraft bundle page. From there, you'll be prompted with a simple form to fill out, and once it's complete, your automatic download will begin. Running the installer will activate your license, download offline binaries, and give you the option to install additional demos and Visual Studio tools. During the process, you'll be prompted for your credentials to activate your account, so keep those handy. With the installation complete, we can start a new Blazor project. Let's open Visual Studio and use the Telerik UI for Blazor project template that was added during installation. When choosing the Telerik Blazor project template, we're given several starting options, including blank application templates, grid and menu, and both server and client side starting points for our project. The project template contains the familiar Blazor Hello World application with all of the Telerik dependencies already included from the start. When the installer ran, it automatically added NuGet packages for the Telerik UI for Blazor to your local cache, as well as the private NuGet feed. If for some reason these packages weren't added to Visual Studio, please see our documentation for step-by-step -step instructions on how to install them. Let's close the NuGet package manager and take a look at the fetch data example that's provided with the template. In the fetch data example, you'll find the Telerik grid, with many of its premium features already enabled. The grid already has multiple columns defined, which use the weather forecast object as an example. Let's run the application so we can see it in action. When the application loads, we're greeted with a Telerik window component. This example contains many useful links that you can use to learn about the product. In addition to the window component is a Telerik menu component with many of the same links. You can use this menu component as a template to start your own project. Next, we'll navigate over to the Fetch Data page so we can see the data grid example. The Telerik data grid displays the weather forecast data with sorting, paging, and filtering already enabled for us. Now that you've installed the Telerik UI for Blazor, it's time to start building your first application. Remember, as you build, if you ever need help, you can go to your account and open a support ticket. The Telerik UI for Blazor is fully supported with both commercial and trial licenses. In addition to support, we have full interactive demos at demos.telerik.com, and you can begin theming your application at themebuilder.telerik.com. The Telerik UI for Blazor can be completely customized, whether you're starting with our default theme, bootstrap theme, or built-in material theme. Thank you for trying Telerik UI for Blazor. Here are some more important links that'll help you get started. 